as you know, what I communicate through my heart, through this, uh, through their technology, their black mirror technology is not going to be the same as what I experience by virtue of what I react to by virtue of becoming aware of it because it's not, it's not spontaneous. In other words, it's not pre-programmed. You know what I mean? It's like zero. It's, there's a difference. And that is a torque speed difference between a dead light system and an eternal life system design. But there is a, a recent incident that has happened because I have followed this channel because this individual is very dear to my heart. And his name is Hobo Shoestring. And he has become quite a celebrity um, because he's traveled so many places on freight trains. Right? And so now he's turned up missing. And uh, so we know about spring equinox. Yeah. And how in a Death Star system, Death Star mathematics, universe killer mathematics, generate another lump number. How that relates to loss and gain of electrons, how that works with implosion codes. And how that relates to today is day seven, and he's still reported as missing. And particularly when you go back to the date at which he apparently had left an emergency room and was indicating as communication to others that he was feeling dazed and confused. And he went back to his apartment in Tennessee, which is in Johnson City, where he has his bucket and his hat and his phones and his wallet. And apparently, according to one report from somebody that knows him, had reported that apparently Hobo Shoestring in the middle of the morning and the time was given as 3 a.m. So you know how threes, sixes and nines, how numbers operate, complex number space. And so he apparently called his mother, his biological mother. And as a result of that communication, which is his intention, Hobo's intentions, he was communicating his intentions by virtue of what he was experiencing, held in memory, what his future memories are going to be based on cellular coded inhalation, absorption, transcription, and exhalation, transpiration that prompted like a cue for his biological mother to jump on her fire horse and speed to his location ASAP. And apparently, according to the reports, that he is not in his apartment. And he has yet to be found up until today, which is day seven. So behind his house is a lake. So we know what technologies are available, like transponders, what map reading technologies are. So it's not like the AI system does not know his precise geomagnetic location, because it does. So here we are after seven days and the lake has not been scanned using thermal imaging or a canine unit that can put his essence, the sense of his unique sound and light encryption code into the dog's memory, the memory bank, the planetary memory bank, the biovoltage bioplasma bank, the cellular recorded memory. Now the dog is going to follow the time wave to follow Hobo Shoestring's time wave 
unless there is a break, like a circuit breaker in the time wave location between density and multi-dimensions. The location of Hobo Schuster. So a canine unit has not been deployed as a form of technology to locate Hobo Shoestring's unique encrypted identity. Nor has that lake been scanned either way. So it's not a coincidence that those technologies have not been deployed after day one. After day two, after day three, after day four, and here we are at day seven. So you know how that works with their numbers, because their numbers lie. Because it requires the death of another sentient life form to generate another number into the system. To keep the system, which is death science technology, running. So I put my sensors out to help locate Hobo and find him safe. But you know how it is with intentions. What our intentions are and what its intention is as IT, QIT, a different wave, a different spiral. That is a black mirror. A black mirror spiral. Particularly as it relates to someone that is very dear to many thousands of people that love and care about Hobo Shoestring. That's right. And when you uh, run the data analysis across the entire spectrum between what's been happening over the last week, like Baltimore, the Lomita fire, right? Generating an enormous amount of what? Disruptions, disturbances in the living, central, breathing, central nervous system of a living planet. Because we're all connected through cells cellular recorders, what we're all experiencing by communicating to each other, what we experience at the completion of a magnetic circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you all. We love you, hobo. Be good to ourselves. Have a beautiful day.